So you want to make game hacks in Python that work on any PC? Then this video is for you. You will learn how to hack any game, but also how to make it into an EXE that can be used on any PC. That's right, even your mom can enjoy your game hacking after this video. Let's jump right into it. Let's hack these points in Plants vs Zombies. We will open Sheet Onion and search for the value. Then we go back in game, change our value by buying a tower and search for the new value, which is zero now. Now we only have one address left and we can change this to test if it's what we want. And it changes our sun points in game. Perfect. But this is a dynamic address. Bruh. So if we restart the game or change computer, it won't work anymore. Oh That's why we need to perform a pointer scan to find a static method. We will change the maximum offset value to something like 50,000, just so we don't miss out on any potential pointers with high offset values. You can name it whatever you want, I'll choose sons. So this pointer scan will give us all of the pointers that point from a game module and then to our address in some way. Now, it doesn't mean that they will work every time, so we will restart the game reattach it to sheet engine and then find our value again. Now the nice thing in sheet engine is that we can just rescan and then pick value. Now we just type in whatever value you have in this new session. Mine is 50. We hit OK and then add a 2 at the end of our pointer scan and we're done. So the more times you perform this rescan for memory, restarting the game and so on, the safer your bet will be that the pointer works. So I will stop at three pointer scans and I'll just double click on one of these pointer paths to add them to Sheet Onion. Now, please, and trust me on this, do not pick a thread stack pointer, oh, yeah. just use the .exe or whatever else, not thread stack. You can see that the pointer correctly displays our sun value, 50 and so on, and it updates when we buy towers. Perfect. So Let's rename this pointer to whatever value it casts and then use it in Python. We will create a new file, pvz.py, and we will import pymem. If you don't have pymem installed, then just go to the CMD and install it via pip install pymem. We can now instantiate pymem and use our process. So just go to Sheet Onion and copy whatever it says at the top. We can now get the module base using pymem.process.module from name, use our process handle and then our module name. Just like before, we go into Sheet Engine and look at our pointer base. You will pick whatever says at the very first. Mine says popcap game 1.exe. We will now define our pointer base by taking our module base and adding the first address. Remember to use the 0x to define hexadecimal values. Next up are the offsets, which we will just go back to Sheet Onion again and write them down one after the other, bottom to up. Now it might look scary because we have a lot of offsets, but we will create a helper for Pymem that will handle these pointers very smoothly or whatever. So, a new file, resolver.py, we will import pymem again, but also import iterables. So, we will create a simple function, resolve pointer chain, that takes the pymem, the start address, the offsets, and then a boolean final add only. The function will first check whether the process is 64-bit or 32-bit. If it's 64-bit, we will use read u long long, otherwise we'll just use read u ints for our pointers. After that, we can start looping through all of our offsets and addresses and read them, add the next in line, and then return the final address. At the end, we will return the address plus the last offset, or just read the address plus the last offset. 
whatever you want to use. You can set it to true or false. All right, perfect. So we can now use this in our main code. We'll go back to the PVZ and add the import at the top. We can now create an infinite loop while true and read our final address easily with our resolve pointer chain. Just throw in the pymm, our pointer base, and then the offsets read the value and print our current value then take the user input and just change it to whatever they put let's try it out in game before we make it into an exe so we just write pi our file name and then dot pi again to run it now we can enter whatever value we want just press enter and voila and as you can see, it changed our value in game. So we know that our pointer reading and writing does work. Perfect. Now let's turn it into an exe. It is incredibly simple. We just write def main and wrap our code inside of that. Then go down at the bottom and add if name equals equals quote unquote main. We just call our main function. Perfect. So. We will need to go into the CMD again and do a pip install of pi installer. We will quickly go back and change our file name to main.py just for clarity. Then use pi installer dash dash one file and then main.py. This will build our beautiful Python hack into a compatible.exe which will be found in the distribution folder. You can take this exe now and just drag it onto the desktop or send to your friend whatever you want to do with it and then just click on run. You can see that it opens the CMD just like in our Python project and it will update the game's oh values. So there you go, your very own Python hack compiled into an exe that you can send to anyone that will work over time hopefully you can be sure but if you liked this tutorial and you want to learn more then i suggest you subscribe if you have any suggestions then leave it down in the comments i'll take a look at them i promise all right see you guys bruh, bruh. Oh, God.